hey, over here, man, working in the garden. Good to see you. It's been, I don't know, a month, two months? Oh, over two. Got these tomatoes in. They're doing all right, but uh, I don't know. Things are hard. Things aren't growing good. There's no fertilizer. So we're using a lot of compost. Luckily we got it. A lot of people don't have compost. We're out of gas, so there is no more tilling as you know. Man, I am so glad we got this thing. This cultivator here, this thing is, this helps. It's still hard work. Yeah, my hands are just like yours. I know, mine are probably worse. Look at that, cuts. I know. I long for the days when, you know, you could touch your wife and your hands were sort of soft, put some lotion on them. Nobody's hands are soft anymore. Nobody's. We stocked up a lot of stuff. You know what we forgot? Lotion. We ran out of lotion a couple months ago. If you had a bottle of lotion right now, I don't know what you could get for. I guarantee you could get an ounce, two ounces, three ounces of gold. You can get whatever you want for some hand lotion, some body lotion. Everybody's hands are rough. Even the ladies. The ladies are working as hard as we are. I mean, they're just... My wife's hands are like a man's hand. They're calloused. I never thought they would be like that. I always liked them soft. But... If you don't work, you don't eat around here. And you know that. I mean, it's not like we're just being mean. It's just if you cannot pull your own weight, there's no way you can produce enough food. We're trying to help some handicapped people we know. We give them what we can, but I mean, we can't just keep giving them food. Most of our long-term food is gone other than beans and rice. We did put back a few, few good cans of some special treats for some birthdays coming up. But right now it's this garden. If this garden does not do good, it's, we're gonna have a hard winter coming up. Luckily it's the beginning of the season. We got a lot of stuff in. Luckily, we put back seeds. Some people didn't put any seeds back. You know, I know. And those people that put seeds back, and they said, I'll just, I'll just till up my, my yard, get rid of all my pretty grass and plant a garden. Those people aren't doing it. There's no gas for the tillers. They're out there with a shovel, a maddox. They can't, they can't do it. I mean, it's just, the ground is too hard. They're expending so much effort a few of them have given up. I don't know what they're going to do. Luckily, we've got this little cultivator, and our garden areas have been tilled, have been worked for years. So it's not too bad with this in a, in a Maddox. I mean, we're, we're doing better than most. But food production, if you can't produce it, you're in trouble. Yeah, yeah the gloves. Gloves, man. Gloves are worn up. I, I, have a, I have one pair of leather gloves left that I'm just using for occasional things when I need to use a pair of gloves. But no, you don't wear leather gloves out here working anymore. They're too valuable. That's why, the, that's why our hands are, I know, all nastied up. Oh. Well, I thought with the crash of society that we wouldn't be paying taxes anymore. But there's a little problem come up. Not far from here, there's a group calling themselves the, the new local government. They're, they got a mayor of this county, I guess, but he wasn't elected by me or nobody else around here. And I received a notice. It was tacked to my gate. They're gonna be charging 10% of all crops grown in this county. We will be having to give up. I don't know what they're offering me for 10% because I sure know it ain't safety. I mean, if you, from now on, our group is carrying the rifles at all times. Food is getting scarce. It's just lawlessness, just bands of bands of people hungry. If you don't have a weapon on you, I mean, just not having a weapon, they, they look at you as weak. So we go around with firearms at all times. At least if someone sees us, they'll think we're stronger than we are. But we, we don't have it bad. There's things I miss every day though. Man, what do I do for a little bit of gas to run my tiller? I mean, I got the nicest tiller in there and it's worth nothing to me now. 
I don't know what we're going to do with it. I think we're going to actually move it out of the shed and just put it out in the woods because we need room in the shed for storing stuff. Oh, I don't know. We're doing fine. I don't know why I'm complaining, especially to you, because you even got it rougher than me. But I think we're going to get through it. And you need to stop back more often. This every two months thing, man. You need to stop in. I'll, let's go up to the house. Let's see if the wife's got anything on. I know she's got a little bit of rice and some beans on, so let's go see what we can get. <laughs> 